the brave and fiercely independent tribes of Waziristan were never controlled by any empire. When the British colonized the Indian subcontinent, they faced a serious problem in dealing with the rebellious Pashtun tribes of Waziristan, which is located in the northwestern frontier. The tribes of Waziristan had no central authority and each tribe was led by a small group of tribal elders who would resolve disputes and manage the affairs of each tribe. Before the arrival of the British, the tribes of Waziristan were engaged in a continuous fight against invading armies such as the Sikh and Afghan armies. Although the king of Afghanistan claimed jurisdiction over these tribes, they would not allow his forces to enter their territory. The tribes of Waziristan were never loyal to any empire and always remained independent and self-sufficient. In 1839, the British declared war on Afghanistan after the Afghan people refused to recognize a king appointed by the British. The British wanted to install a puppet ruler in Afghanistan in order to make Afghanistan a buffer state that would protect British India from a potential Russian invasion from Central Asia. This war triggered a series of wars between the British and the Afghans, which was only concluded in the year 1919, when a treaty was signed between the British and the Afghan king Abdul Rahman Khan. As a result of this treaty, a border was established between Afghanistan and the British colony of India. Therefore, the British were given control of the region of Waziristan, which was on their side of the border. However, the rebellious tribes of Waziristan could never be controlled by the British. Due to oppressive British policies, Waziristan was in a constant state of rebellion throughout British rule. The tribes of Waziristan revolted against the British on multiple occasions. However, the largest rebellion took place in the year 1936. The British tried to interfere in the tribal and religious affairs of the people of Waziristan. As was the case in other regions of British India, British authorities always favored Hindus over Muslims in legal disputes. In the year 1936, in northern Waziristan, the British intervened in a dispute between Hindus and Muslims, which led to a massive revolt. In March 1936, a Muslim boy and a Hindu girl from Waziristan fell in love and got married. In order to marry the boy, the Hindu girl converted to Islam. The mother of the girl disapproved of the marriage and complained to the British authorities. The British then forcefully broke the marriage and returned the girl to her parents. After hearing about this event, a religious and tribal leader known as Mullah Haji Mirza Ali Khan declared a revolt against the British. Mirza Ali Khan managed to unite all of the tribes of Waziristan to rebel against the British authorities. Within 20 days, all British officers were kicked out of Waziristan.
The British then sent a large army in order to crush the rebellion and find Mirza Ali Khan. This led to a war which lasted until the British left India in 1947. In the first year of the war, 1,800 British soldiers were killed, including 20 high-ranking British commanders. On the other hand, Mullah Mirza Ali Khan and his army only lost 50 men. After the failed British operation of 1936, the British deployed the Royal Air Force and began bombing Waziristan. Hundreds of civilians were killed. This increased hatred towards the British and Mullah Mirza Ali Khan was able to gain even more followers. In April 1937, a British convoy was suddenly attacked by armed tribesmen in South Waziristan. 53 British soldiers were killed. These ambushes continued throughout the year. The British had built a railway known as the Northwestern Railway which was made for the purpose of transporting soldiers from Punjab to Waziristan and Balochistan. Due to the constant raids by the followers of Mirza Ali Khan, this railway was no longer safe and continued to be ambushed by Waziri tribes. <coughs> Mullah Mirza Ali Khan would use a hit-and-run strategy, ambushing British convoys and military installations and hiding in the nearby caves. Mirza Ali Khan had the full support of the local population and would capitalize on local informants in order to gain intelligence on British positions. Despite their superior quality of weaponry and well-trained troops, the British were unable to kill or capture Mullah Mirza Ali Khan. The British wasted their men and resources for more than 10 years. At the height of the conflict, 40,000 British troops were searching for Mullah Mirza Ali Khan, but they failed to locate him. Mirza Ali Khan was the most determined enemy of the British Raj. Mullah Mirza Ali Khan waged a war against the British for over 24 years by hiding in the caves of Waziristan. In 1947, the British left the Indian subcontinent, which was then divided into the new states of India and Pakistan. After the creation of Pakistan, Mirza Ali Khan demanded independence for Waziristan and continued his fight against the new state. Neither the British nor the Pakistanis were able to defeat Mirza Ali Khan. Mirza Ali Khan died as a free man in the year 1960. The region of Waziristan remains a volatile region inhabited by brave tribes who continue to resist foreign invasions. In 2002, the United States and Pakistan began a joint operation against the people of Waziristan. The Americans accused the people of Waziristan of supporting terrorist groups. The Pakistani President Parvez Musharraf joined forces with George Bush and allowed the United States military to conduct drone strikes in Waziristan. 
President Barack Obama continued American drone strikes in Waziristan, which resulted in the deaths of over 1,000 civilians.